Hey, up next to the Marmy Rock Show, we pride ourselves in finding new music wherever it's being created around the world here. And uh, in Waldorf, Maryland, we have found Savage Hands. They're a brand new band. We've got Mike Garrow joining us. Their debut record just came out on March 2nd. Their song Red is in our Golden Dozen. Mike, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, so the debut is out now. Give folks an introduction to the band, how it formed and how it came together. Um, so basically the band formed um, through a couple of old bands that kind of, uh, uh, I guess, like lost progress and kind of just hit a dead end in their uh, careers. And, um, you know, the three of us from the original band that that me, Johnny, and Justin were in, um, we started writing Savage Hands material about like three years ago. And then uh, we accumulated Nathan and Ryan uh, shortly after, about like maybe two years ago. And then ever since then, we started writing demos and really trying to hammer out like some good songs. And, you know, what came out of that was the uh, debut EP that we just released last Friday. Now, once you added the two new band members, how long ago was that? How quickly did you guys know you had the right chemistry? So... Yeah, it was just like pretty much the three of us and then a couple of different members that, you know, um, didn't really make it. Uh, you know, we all started writing about three years ago. And then once we had Nathan and Ryan into the group, that's when we started really like making moves on trying to add people to our team and really trying to branch out and get our music heard once we finalized on some demos there. Now, once you got your music finalized, uh, you guys wrote and uh, had a great producer in Andrew Bayless who worked with the band I love called Siler. How would you uh, hook up with Andrew? Well, yeah, so the funny thing is, like, everybody in my band now um, has worked with Andrew in past bands. So Andrew kind of, like, low-key, like, put all this together. You know, he kind of found the right guys for us when we were searching, and, um, so we've, we've been working with Andrew for quite a while, um, and same for Ryan and Nate and their own respective band. Uh, and then Andrew's also from, like, Maryland, so we kind of know him that way, too, and we were all fans of Life on Repeat, so that's another thing. So uh, I mentioned the song Red is currently our Golden Dozen. It's currently our number five tune. Tell me a little bit about the story behind the tune Red. Okay, so Red, uh, Red's just written, it's not... It, I mean, it might be one of our personal stories. Um, I don't want to put anyone's business out there for, you know, any reason. But um, <laughs> it's just basically like an easy song for anybody to grab. Uh, you know, a loved one or someone like that treating you wrong and you're kind of just putting your foot down and saying, you know, like, I can do better than this, like, no more. You know, and that's basically a brief meaning behind it. Um, I think the lyrics explain that pretty well. Uh, that, and that's why we chose that song as the first song to be let out because I felt like it was like real in your face and, uh, really easy to understand. You know, there's no confusion there on what that song is about at all. Now is, uh, the album I mentioned just came out on March 2nd, but also a music video for Unconditional just came out. So tell me a little bit about the making of that music video. Yeah, that music video was really fun. So... Red and Unconditional were filmed within the same, like, weekend. We did two music videos in two days, um, and we were able to use the same location, uh, just, you know, different areas of the location. So Unconditional music video was more relaxed in terms of, like, you know, the way that we were able to move, and we were sore from Red. So, like, you know, we were all nervous, like, man, this is going to suck. But it was actually really, really nice to... I mean, we, we hadn't really played that song live a lot, so we had, like, a good hour of solid, like, learning how to move to that song and how to groove to it, but so it was really fun, like, you know, watching uh, the guys try to find their groove and, um, you know, things like that, and all the uh, the storyline, watching the actors and actresses break things, like, you know, that stuff's, like, really cool to watch, just, and it's just funny. <laughs> I guess, was it more fun doing Unconditional where you get to sit back a little bit and watch the actors, or was it more, I guess, a lot of harder work doing Red, right, just playing over and over? Yeah, it was, I mean, that 
that unconditional video was a lot easier than red. Um, for sure, by far, yeah. <laughs> So uh, as I've been making my way through the album, I picked it up on the day it came out. And the album, you know, comes out pounding full dose with heavy tunes. And all of a sudden, this tune, Taken, comes on. A much mellower tune. So tell me a little bit more about that tune and how it landed on the record. Um, so yeah, that tune was part of the demo. Uh, we When we first, like, reached out to Sal, um, we gave him, like, a five-track demo. Pretty much of all the songs that are on the CD now. Uh, minus a few, and um, he really had a soft spot for that song, um, and that song, we originally wrote it to be a tearjerker. Uh, I'd never really, like, touched base on um, my feelings or emotions uh, for the passing of my father, which was, like, 12 years ago, and, you know, there's a lot to say about that, and I've never really spoken about it, so... I decided to put it in form of lyrics in a song. You know, that's the best way I can reach out. Um, and I felt like we did a pretty good job of it, and we felt like it deserved a place on this EP for sure. Because, you know, we're all of our songs are about, you know, letting out the negativity and trying to move on from it. So I felt like that song really needed a spot. And Sal, our uh, A&R over at Sharpton, was 100% backing on that. Man, I'm glad to hear the story behind that. I'm going to listen to it with a different ear now that I know that story. I, you know, I lost my father back in January, so now I've got a whole new ear to listen to that too. So thanks for sharing that. Hey, so uh, you just had a, a show this past weekend. Tell us about where you decided to, I guess, kind of release the CD and what that show was. Well, actually, the show is actually this weekend. It's this Sunday coming up. So we're, we're getting prepared for that. Um, you know, we we are blessed with uh, the practice area that we have. Um, it actually is at my guitarist's house. He's my cousin, so and they live on a huge farm with a big house, and his parents are, like, more than welcome. You know, they let us practice there forever, so um, we've been practicing an awful lot just to uh, really hammer down on, like, the whole EP just in case we have time to play it all because um, some of the songs we haven't really been practicing, and you know, before we decided to do an actual EP, you know, there, there were other songs that we were playing that were a part of it, and those got dropped, so our set list got kind of cut short, so we definitely had to learn, like, all the songs that are on this EP now. So, uh, take a look ahead, like, in your crystal ball. What do the next few months have in store for you guys? Are you going to try to go out on tour? Are you going to keep uh, playing live regionally? What's your plan? Um... Yeah, we're focusing on uh, regional shows and some small regional touring. Um, we got, you know, we have some tours that are trying to be lined up as we speak. Nothing in the books yet. Um, you know, and we're really focusing on trying to find some more time to get back into the studio to write the first full-length record. Well, I'm really hoping to catch you guys at a live show soon, man. I've really enjoyed the release. I've only had it since, you know, a couple days now, but I've already been hitting the repeat on that one. Uh, they are Savage Hands. They're out of Waldorf, Maryland, and uh, their song Red is our number five tune in the Golden Dozen. And uh, go check them out. The record's barely alive. You can pick it up on iTunes or wherever you buy your music. And uh, Mike Garrow from Savage Hands, man, thanks a lot for being here with us tonight. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it.